Why are there others in the city? Wataru, what's going on? No response from Wataru. What's wrong? The city system stopped? Be careful. Arahabaki, the computer that controls all of Suo, has shut down. I don't know the cause, but all of the city's defense systems are offline. That led others into the city, and the chaos is spreading. Wataru, what does that mean? You're able to contact him? I'll see if I can reboot Sinet from here. Eliminate as many others from the city as you can. This isn't our normal communication, but my telepathy. The comms are down, so I can only speak to you. I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Do your best to survive. What? Hey, Wataru! Yuito, Wataru is communicating only to you? It looks like Sinet is down, so he's contacting me telepathically. I see. So we'll be without his support for a while. Yeah. He says Arahabaki was shut down, and the defense system is down too. And he said there are others in the city he wants us to take care of. He'll be focusing on rebooting the system. He wants us to eliminate the others, but we don't know where or how many there are. Yeah. Sugumi, give us the rundown about each and every other you find. We'll take them out. Understood. It might be difficult in such a large area, but I'll try. Okay. Let's just clean up the others around us first. Understood. Understood. This went down. It's usually full of visions. It's mostly ads, but it makes me nervous when they're all gone. I hit the other shell. I didn't think I can break it if I focus my attacks. I need your help. Major General Fubuki is in our vicinity. <laughs> Where? Two o'clock. Coming this way. Who are you under? Uh, Captain Seto is dead, so currently... Seto is dead? Wait. Are you under Karn's command? Or did he not summon you? Major General Fubuki, I'll explain the situation. I see. So Karin didn't summon any soldiers here other than Gemma. Um, what's going on? It looks like the city defense system is down. I'll explain later. I still don't fully grasp what's happening as well. What I know for sure is that he stirred up some members of the OSF and conspired with the Seiron forces. With them, he attacked Suo. So he did this to the city? Were you aware of this, Gemma? I didn't think he'd let others into the city, but I knew. Since you're with Yuito now, you're not aligning yourself with Seiron. Am I correct in that assumption? That's right. All right, I'll take any OSF allies I can get. You will all be under me now. I've split up troops to evacuate civilians, but there's just not enough of us. We'll help. I don't know what he's thinking, but I can't believe he'd endanger civilians. Thank you. Then I name Yuito as your temporary platoon leader. Me? Yes. Some of the council members failed to evacuate and are heading to shelter on foot. There's no communication from the backup OSF or the National Defense Forces. I want you to go see what's going on. The chairman and council members will feel safe with you. My father? Understood. I don't know what's going on, but it is dangerous. Everyone be careful. Even if you see other OSF, they may not be allies. There's no word of Seiron forces invading, but we don't know everything. We can't contact the central control center that houses Arahabaki, so don't take any risks. I'm counting on you. Understood. I'm going to the central control center. 
First, we need to reboot the defense system or the battle control system. Let's head for OSF headquarters. The Council shelter should be near there. You're okay with that, Gemma? Yes. My desire to protect Suo is the same as yours. I swear my loyalty, at least until this situation settles down. I trust you. What is Major General Karin thinking attacking Suo? Even if he has some reason, this is wrong. <laughs> I'm using this, Sugumi! <laughs> Focus. Let's 
Let's regroup now. That was close. Found you. Come on. I can still fight. I'm getting roasted. Here we go. All help. dangerous to move on foot in this situation. If he's attacked by another, please be okay until I get there. Good. Alright! 
can still fight. Are you okay? You're Chairman Sumeragi's. Yes, I'm Yuito Sumeragi. There are others all over the city. Please, go to the shelter right away. Please, hurry to OSF headquarters. The chairman is being attacked by what look like OSF soldiers. What? My father? Hurry and help the chairman. Understood. Let's hurry. I'm worried about your dad. Right. Dad is being attacked by OSF? What the hell? I have to hurry! Are you okay? Dad! Out of the way! What are you doing? <laughs> Yuito, you must die. What? What are you saying? I made a promise to you. Arm yourself! Here we go! You promised me that you'd kill me? What are you talking about? You don't need to understand. Die! You won't get away! At this rate... Good. Don't go near them, Hanabi. Kasane means business. If you get too close, not only will you not stop her, you could die. You won't get away. Good. Come on. Damn it. What's Kasane thinking? At this rate, Dad will... Kasane, we can do whatever you want later. I'm just worried about my father right now. Please, stop. By any means, there's nothing to talk about. That was close. Here we go. Stop. Hey. Come on. What do you think you're doing? What do I do? Dad. I have to find a way to stop Kasane, even for a second. Oh, right, the brain field. I should be able to do it. I'm not as strong as Major General Karn, but if I try, though it might be too much for me. No, I'll think about that later. I don't have time to hesitate. Sorry, Kasane. This is all I could think of.
Springfield? Sonny, it's time to end this. If you really killed my father, then I'll never forgive you. Witness my strength! to me is this the brain field no I can still fight wait what are you doing why are you trying to kill me and my father Kasane did you stab my father What's this? Attention all citizens of New Himuka. You blind fools who denied the truth before your own eyes. I am Karin Travers of the OSF. I reject the control of the New Himuka government as one of the Awoken. My allies and I have decided to cooperate with Seiron, who share our will. Pitiful citizens of New Himuka, don't turn your eyes from the truth. This nation is insane. They control the city, the information, and the people with sign it. Not even your thoughts are free. You are nothing but livestock born to be used by the state. Himuka is a regime that eliminates those that threaten them by driving them insane. They only raise submissive livestock they can control. There is no justice. Hey, Kasane's getting away. Wait! Wait! Yuito. Dad? Sugumi, we're going after Kasane. Yes. Dad! Yuito... I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? There's so much... I have to tell you. Be careful. This nation... Uh, this nation, we... You... Uh. Mr. Sumaragi! No way. You can't... You can't die! Dad, please!
I stood at the front lines of Ceylon and rebelled against a society that would control humans and only allow some of them rights. Now, I will destroy the new Himuka regime with Ceylon as my homeland. What begins now is an escape from oppressive control, a revolution. To those of you who are awake, those who wish to awaken, come join my cause in Ceyron. Help me destroy the new Himuka regime and put an end to their tyranny forever. That looks like the end of Major General Karn's speech video. The government has started blocking it so it's inaccessible. So that means what he was saying is true. I knew everyone was under some control, but information is seriously being limited. <sighs> Why don't you rest a little? I mean, this must be hard for you. I'm sorry to make you worry. Don't apologize. I mean, something like that happening right in front of you? It would be hard for anyone. Kasane killed my father? Why would she do that? Did she really? And if New Himuka was trying to make a controlled society, my father and brother were at the center of it. Could he actually do such a thing? If so, then what's the reasoning behind it? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark about this? Damn it! Nothing makes any sense! Both of you are alright. Geva! Sugumi! I'm sorry. I lost Kasane. It's frustrating. We saw our meet up with Major General Karin, but we were attacked by the OSF with him. They disappeared while we were distracted. Since Sugumi couldn't track them, they must have been moved by a teleporter. I talked to Wataru, too. He's all right, but his sister... Did something happen? She disappeared. I think she joined the Karin supporters in Ceyron. It seems nearly half of the OSF have joined him in Ceyron. There are rumors that Ceyron will declare independence. So Kasane went to Ceyron? Yeah, probably. What about you, Gamma? Yeah, I probably would have gone as well. But now, I don't understand what Major General... what Karin is doing. What do you mean? New Himuka really was watching its citizens. True, the New Himuka government is likely controlling its citizens. Even so, I don't believe that putting people in danger was the right thing to do. It seems Karin evacuated the civilians of Suo to shelters before this disturbance started. But even if he did, he was the one who let others into the city in the first place. And then there's Seto. If what he told me about Seto was true, then Seto wouldn't have risked his life to stop Nagi. If he trampled on Seto's dignity to increase his allies, then I can't forgive him, or myself, for being a fool and not believing Seto. Right. Captain Seto. And we don't know where Nagi is. Yuito. You don't look well. Look, Sugumi's worried too. Just take a break. A lot of things just happened. Don't push yourself. <sighs> Thanks, guys.
About time. Told you not to make me wait. <laughs> You'd complain no matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. <laughs> he had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh. So it's like a keepsake, then? That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Hmm. Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Maybe you saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box. I think. Just go check the hideout again. Hang on. You want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. He's acting all high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, but don't pout if I can't find it. What? I don't pout. I'm not a kid. Just get going. You're back. Did you find something? Yeah. I found a case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seto left this for me. So it was a gift from him. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Shiden, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it, but here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine, but yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Shiden, 
You are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow stronger. So trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it. There was so much I wanted to learn from him. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. I only fought with him for a short time, but I know that he was an amazing man. He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. Hey, wait! <sighs> what? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Was that his idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. If I feel like it. He's pompous, rude, and really mean. But he's not all bad, I guess. If I'm as open-minded as Captain Seto, will I see him differently? Yuito, thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah, uh, you look well, too. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine, but now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and awkward. Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. He really do care about your friends. It makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh, no. I've been pretty busy, but I feel pretty good now. Really? Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put it? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much.
Thanks. Maybe I should talk to Sugumi. Why are you apologizing? That white flower... I told you I would look into it, but I still don't know the name. Don't worry about it. I'm not in a rush or anything. Thank you for continuing to search for it. I... will definitely find it. I will show you that blooming flower. So wait. Okay, I'll wait. But don't push yourself. Just do it when you have time. Uh, uh, wait. Hmm? What? Um... Huh. It looks like she wants to say something. I feel bad for putting pressure on her, so I'll wait a little. <sighs> um... How... is your stomach feeling recently? Uh, my stomach? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess I haven't had much of an appetite lately. You... should take some medicine. Thanks, I will. How did you know my stomach wasn't feeling well? My power. Oh, that's right. You're clairvoyant. So you have the ability to see inside my body. I do my best not to look into people's bodies, but it's hard to control. Sometimes I catch a glimpse. That's a useful power, but it sounds a little gross. That must be hard, Sugumi. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked without permission. Oh, don't worry about it. You seeing my organs is less embarrassing than if you saw me naked. Also, you told me because you were concerned. So, thanks. But... I still shouldn't have done it. Huh. How come you're always so hard on yourself? It happened a long time ago, when I was little. I wasn't as good at using my power then. I saw a lot that I shouldn't have. Inside bodies, inside rooms, people's secrets, things I didn't want to see. I didn't know it was bad, and I saw something my friend was hiding. <laughs> I told everyone about it, and my friend and all the adults were afraid of me. I was alienated. Everyone hated me. I didn't want people to hate me anymore. So I became afraid to talk to anyone. So I... I'm always careful not to see or talk about people's secrets. But... That sounds pretty terrible. Yeah, I did a bad thing. That's not what I mean. You were just a kid. There was nothing you could do. Those adults should have known better. I'm sorry that happened to you when you were little. Um... Um, but it wasn't all bad. Really? From what I just heard, it sounds terrible. I didn't have any human friends, but my grandpa taught me about plants. My grandpa liked bonsai, and he knew a lot about plants. He taught me that plants are friends who don't talk. Friends who don't talk? Yes. Well... Not with words, anyway. But with the shape of their branches, or the state of their leaves, they can tell us a lot. And when we're sad, they're always silently by our side. When I heard that, I started to like plants, too. I see. Your grandpa sounds really nice. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Sugumi. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself. Yeah, I will. Friends who don't talk, huh? Well, Sugumi doesn't talk much either, but she cares a whole lot. I guess liking plants is something we have in common. Um, Yurito? Yeah? What is it? Thanks for everything. Huh? <laughs> sure, you too.
it's gotten easier to talk to you. I'm happy to hear you say that. I guess I should take a break. Yuito, wake up! What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad... We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru! Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. 
Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after-effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with Brainfields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. That's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. <laughs> 